Hey, Jay Sims back again with video number four. In the last video, I showed you how to create this PNG image for the intro and outro of your, well, any type of video really, whether it be a PowerPoint presentation, a screencast video, or even you on camera, it doesn't matter. You can use this slide for, you know, just to jazz up your videos uh, or, you know, for branding, whatever the case may be. I am going to show you what we're going to be using. I'm going to be using, I'm, with Windows 7 and 8, you should have Windows Live Movie Maker already on your computer. Um, if you have anything, you know, earlier, you're, you're going to probably have Windows Movie Maker on your computer already. Um, if not, I'll leave the links at the bottom because there's a, you know, there's a version, if you don't have it for some reason. There's a version for Vista, Windows XP, and Windows Live Movie Maker is what we're going to be using in this video because I have Windows 7. Already, it's already on my computer. Or I'll leave a link to Windows Essentials, which are, you know, these tools down here. It comes with all of this. So it's really up to you. And today, all we're going to do, I'm going to be using let me go open up uh, Windows Movie Maker, Windows Live Movie Maker. And this is what it looks like. Windows Movie Maker, if you have an early version of Windows, should look similar. And um, today we're just going to put the image in front and in the intro and the outro of the video, and we're going to put the video in. And tomorrow, or on the next video, I'm going to actually show you how to uh, add the music. So today we're we're going to add the effects and and the image. So sorry, I didn't explain what I was doing there. Uh, add videos and photos. I'm going to go here. First of all, click on home, add videos, photos, navigate to where you you saved your image. If you didn't do this yet, go back to video three and make yourself an image with X header. I showed you exactly how to do that and double click it and you can see it adds it here and this is really kind of short with just the one the one instance of you know the one frame here so go ahead and click this button you can see it you can move this anywhere you want and then you can either right click copy right click paste or you can just go back up here and click the button again however you want to do that and then click down here so that this you know is at the edge here go back up and find your video file now you can use you can put a mp4 uh, in here but you know if you have a windows media if you saved your videos windows media file or you know an avi file is what I saved mine as uh, which I'm using Screencast-O-Matic and we'll, I'm going to try to show you guys that in a different video um, that'll probably be one of my uh, next videos after this because you're going to need something to record your video with right so um, I might be getting ahead of myself here because I'm telling you to put a video in here uh, when you may not have created one yet but you can put any video in here. It doesn't have to be, you know, you can just for <clears throat> for this purpose for practice. But um, I'll show you a screencast-o-matic later. Um, now I may have to use something else to record screencast-o-matic because I can't record it and use it at the same time. So I'll have to figure that one out. Probably Jing or something. Uh, and then what you want to do? Double click and it will add your video in here. Now like I said if you haven't recorded a video yet and you know just um, you can use one of your previous videos or you can use an mp4 video that you have on your maybe on your computer or just put something in here some kind of video in here so you can you can follow along and do this and get used to it because it'll, if you haven't used this before, it may take you a little while to get used to. 
So go ahead and click down here again. Make sure the bar is all the way to the end. And then you can either go back up and double click or you can so just move that if it doesn't go all the way over or you can right click and paste because we had copied that earlier so and there you have it you have the this intro image PNG at the intro and outro of your video so now what we're gonna do is click here at the beginning and we're gonna go to animations and I think what I used before I like this one, the blue, the blur through black. So I'm going to click on it once, and it's going to add it right here at the, the beginning. Now if you click Apply to All, it's going to put it on every one of these when it starts here, and you don't want that, so don't click on that. And then you can go down here and click on the video. now. I believe if I remember right you want to click here on the make sure you're on the video part here and then go find I think this is it hey, Jason. Ooh, I'm sorry let me uh, let me go turn that volume down real quick here in video tools you can click edit and video volume let's just turn that down way down Okay, and then go back to animations. Let's go down. I think it was right here. And that's much better. Now we use the blur through black, I believe. So click on that one, and then it'll add it here. So let's go all the way down. We're going to want to do that here, too, as well. So click here, and then find your blur to black click on it and then that adds the animation here so now you have let's say we're this is the end of our video see how nice that transition is right there how how good that looks um, And then uh, I'll show you the beginning. So there's your transition there. And there you go. So there you have it. Uh, now that you have this with your intro slide and your animation here and you could have picked any one of these animations by the way uh, it doesn't matter it'll show you a, a little preview of each one so you can do whatever you want there now in the next video this video is already eight minutes so I'm gonna cut it here and we'll do uh, video five next where I'm gonna show you where you can get some free loops and where you can and how to add your your music to the intro here and how to fade it in fade it out make it you know just add some some music to this so it's not plain Jane nothing going on silence here we want some music in here and we'll I'll show you to fade it in nicely here to where you can uh, you know have it blend in with your video just like the animation does so, we will see you in the next... Oh, let me show you how to save this real quick because you're obviously we're going to do this in two videos. So, you want to... For now, you just want to save the project. And you can just save it anywhere you want. It's going to save it as a WLMP Windows Live Media Player. Or, yeah, Windows Media Player. So you wanna, you know, I'm I'm just gonna save it on my desktop, and my movie I'm gonna leave it as that because uh, 
when we start the next video I'm going to show you how you can open that back up and go ahead and and uh, we'll work on it again some more so we will see you on the so just click save it'll save it on your desktop and then when we go on the next video I'll show you how to open that back up we'll add the music and that's it guys thanks a lot uh, appreciate you watching watching uh, I'm really tired on this video it's like midnight and uh, so sorry if it was a little if I sound a little blah but uh, I'll try to be a little more upbeat on the next video uh, anyway the content hopefully was was good and you're learning uh, some things if if you don't already know this stuff so we'll see you on the next video video number five where we add the music thanks a lot bye